All right, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Let me, let me give you the background as to, I completely changed the way that we're gonna do things today. Because instead of giving you like nine million different tools to kind of explore, I decided to, to approach this a little differently. The reason being is because I did some research and I watched some videos and <clears throat> I think the philosophy behind this is as important as the tools or even maybe more so than the tools that you would use. So I'm not gonna give you like nine million tools, I'm gonna give you I think like nine or so, maybe 10 different ones to see. But they're gonna be short, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time showing them to you guys, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to practice, but I've got two longer videos to show you that I think are important to see, especially before we get into the other things. So I just thought I'd preface by saying that. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about electronic communication tools, and it is a pretty ambiguous title. It means about seven million different things, and I realized when I was looking through the schedule that I wasn't even 100% sure what I meant when I put down electronic communication tools. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I had an idea, but I think what it comes down to is I wanted to create a discussion about why we would use electronic communication tools more so than, hey, I've got all these amazing resources for you because I may not show you anything new today that you haven't already seen or aren't already using. And so if that's the case, then I apologize. But it's, today's not about the, about the, the um, amazing resources or cool websites. That's not really what today is, is about anyway. So when we talk about electronic communication tools, I'll use the term digital communication tools as well, the exact same thing. Um, and I think um, when, I, when I put this together, I was thinking more about how students use communication more than how teachers use communication. So um, that's kind of where we're headed today. So first I'm gonna start with some research. Uh, there's a lot of text here, I know that, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so basically, what happened was uh, Pearson, the, the group, who do, they make a lot of you know, uh, textbooks, those kinds of things. The Digital Promise Company and, and the National Network of State Teachers of the Year and the University of San Diego all did this research study uh, using 44 educators from all over the United States and a bunch of different types of students and a bunch of different types of schools. And they wanted to find out basically what happened when you got teachers who were experts in blended learning, bring your own device, flipped learning one-to-one, -one, and virtual learning classrooms. Basically, all classrooms that, that rely heavily on both digital tools and digital communication tools. Um, so when they did this, they came out with nine separate themes they discovered as they did this, all right? I would argue that all nine of these themes are exactly the same themes that you'll get if you use digital communication tools effectively. If you just use them just to say that you use them, then you're probably not gonna get the same results. But what I thought was interesting is none of these are really a surprise, but there are a lot of really great things that came out of this. And the other thing I wanna point out too is that not only do teachers use digital communication tools effectively, but they seem to use them in a lot of different venues. You know, when you're looking at the flipped classroom, they, they had to use video. Uh, if you're looking, you know, one-to-one -one devices, they had to pretty much teach their students how to be good digital citizens. So there are lots of different ways that the teachers use digital communication tools, which I think is illustrated and in, in how comprehensive these nine themes are. So I'm gonna show you some videos from some of these because I think it's important that you hear about what they did and how they did it. So, of course, the blue ones are the ones that you'll see. Those are the ones that we have videos with, but <clears throat> they went all the way from rapid feedback better co collaboration, stronger communication, all the way down to inc improved classroom management. Which is really no surprise concerning the fact that classroom management is basically communication, really. Um, either allowing students to, not allowing them to, one student does too much, another student doesn't enough, and it really just comes down to communication. So, we're gonna kinda work our way through this a little bit. We're gonna start with rapid feedback as a, um, as a way of utilizing a, a digital communication tool effectively here.